So in the last video, I mentioned I was going to try and find something to feed my lawn in the summer that was organic and like not too high on the nitrogen. Didn't want to use Molorganite, and I found this stuff made by Purely Organic. It's a 10-02 only lawn food fertilizer. I'm avoiding the phosphorus. It's a Molorganite, so I already have a lot of that. This one's made out of soybean meal and dried greens from a distillery or whatever. It has... 10% nitrogen, so not too much. Not going to push the lawn too hard going into summer. They also, they make a whole line of products. So they have a crabgrass, they have a grub control, and then they also have a weed and feed. And those ones are made from cornmeal, it looks like, and also may contain urea. So, But this one that I used did not have any urea in it. So just looking at the product in the bag, um, it looks a lot like something you could probably eat. It look, has the appearance of granola. I kind of wish that it was coated, like in a granule form. I imagine this is going to be dusty when I spread it. It doesn't have a smell, really. I mean, no strong bad smells or nothing. So I wouldn't say it smells good either, but at least there's no strong bad odors with it. And then when I went out to spread it, it was dusty. So this is the back of the spreader after spreading. I mean, at least it's organic. You know, it's just... It's basically edible things, so you don't have to worry so much, but it was pretty dusty as I was spreading it around. And then fast forward a little over two weeks after application, it's not looking too bad for a June 20th lawn with no irrigation system. It's staying pretty green. I nickname this pattern the double down, so I do two downward stripes towards the sun to make two dark lines in a row and one single white line. You will see right by the road I am having signs of heat stress. Um, not much to do about that. Watering's not going to help, but it's just it's so, so near that black pavement that it's getting a little too much heat. I'm also noticing I'm becoming a grower of mushrooms. Lawn's full of them. I mean, this is a good sign. Mushrooms grow on organic matter as it decomposes. So if you have a lot of mushrooms in your yard, then that means you have a lot of organic matter that's decomposing, which should be healthy for your grass, you know. Just, I got quite a few. Quite an assortment to choose from as I walk through here. Something else I noticed closer to my neighbor's yard, they have an irrigation system, but there is a fungus growing, it's red thread. It's not as red on this camera showing up and it's not very sunny, so they're not really, it's not showing the red too much, but it's just probably, we had summertime temps in the night that have been in the 70s for the low. This is just gonna happen when that happens. Hopefully the future, as cooler nighttime temps, it'll just resolve itself without any type of application. So just looking at the future forecast, the temperatures are pretty mild for summer, honestly. This is the end of June going into July. If the grass growing keeps up and it doesn't want to go dormant, I will probably feed it that end of the first week into the second week of July. I also watch for Japanese beetles. It is the time that they start to appear here in Wisconsin. Last year was not a strong year, so I didn't put any grub control down. And then, so if I need to, I'll try that purely organic grub control. If not, I'll maybe I'll try the purely organic weed and feed and just see how they do in the lawn. But I'll wait till the second week of July to do that. I'll just see how the lawn goes, see if it keeps on growing. Like and subscribe for more content, and thanks for watching.